Hello everybody and welcome to Visit File Coast. It's an absolutely glorious day. It's Wednesday the 15th of September today. And look at the sky. There's a there's a plane there just setting off from Blackpool Airport. There's not a not a cloud in the sky hardly. And we're at South Shore and that's our next mission this morning. We're going to go and take a look at the replacement of the mirror ball. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm kind of pointing out what a lovely, lovely day it is, is because it was November 2020 when the mirror ball was re removed for restoration and refurbishment. And we actually, we actually turned up with reasonable timing for once, because usually my timing is awful just as they were taking the top slice off it. And the whole thing, as you can see, has been taken down and taken away and it's been off for complete restoration. So the pole that you can see there is the pole that it's going to be replaced on and this is some of it that is now back on site. And of course the mirror ball is one of the pieces of the Great Promenade Art Show and on our Visit File Coast YouTube channel, we've got a full video of the full end-to-end -end art trail. So I shall put a link to it in the description underneath this video and then you can, you can watch that if you like. So just to orientate you, the mirror ball is at South Shore. You can see the big one at the Pleasure Beach straight in front of us. And we are just about opposite the Solaris Centre. So as we come up this little rise, you can just see the building on the right hand side with the two little wind turbines at the front. And that's the Solaris. So there are, there are public toilets there. <laughs> can never have too many toilets. And round the back of the Solaris is a cafe. And the, the front of it is, is public buildings. There's a little park at the back as well. And of course, we're right next to the main Blackpool tramway. So the mirror ball was installed in 2002 and it's actually been refurbished before. I think it's been done once, if I remember rightly. And it's part of the Great Promenade Art Show, but it's actually called, did you know, it's actually called They Shoot Horses, Don't They? And it's named after the, the 1969 film of the same name. And it was designed by an artist called Michael Trainer, And it's been, it's been glittering and twinkling on the promenade for the last, well, it'll be 20 years, won't it? 20 years next year. And at six metres in diameter, it's thought to be the world's biggest mirror ball. And I bet these guys have been photographed more doing this job than they've ever been photographed in their lives. So it, it comes in sort of, sections in in segments so they've all been dismantled on site you can see actually where it's it's joined together the the cream cream stripes sort of show you where it's joined together um so the sections have all been taken off and taken down and went back to the to the lightworks depot at squires gate and the whole thing has been cleaned off and 47,000 mirror tiles have been replaced and restuck and it's taken a thousand tubes of tile adhesive to do the work and stick it all back on. This guy's got a crane guy's got a good job, hasn't he? Is that waiting waiting for them? Oh look, there's the rest of it there. I wonder when they're gonna lift it back on. I think we may need to go and ask. But that looks so nice, it's all of it. It's all of a glitter. We'll go down this ramp and we'll go round and have a look. We'll see if we can find out from them when they're doing it. So as long as, as well as it being re-mirrored, the bearings have been overhauled. So once it's replaced, it will be able to rotate once a minute. When it's back on its post. Hey, I look, there's another, <laughs> there's another ton of, um, adhesive here sat ready and waiting they've got a box full boxes full in fact ah the tiles are not on where the cream bits are i thought they might have perhaps 
covered some of it up. Wow, that looks lovely. That's going to look stunning. They must be doing the bits that are missing on site. Oh, well, they're not going to be putting that up today, are they? I think they've got a fair amount of tiling to do before they can put that back up. You're not putting that back up today, then? No. 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 <laughs> I'll wait that out. Next week. Next week, yeah, right. We'll start following Monday, Tuesday. So right, fabulous. We shall, we shall come back. From a distance, I thought the cream was where they'd put some protective tape or something over it. Um, and then you get a little bit nearer and you can see that it's actually, it's actually gaps in the tiling, so they're, they're joining it up on site. So let's hope, let's hope that the weather stops nice for it. You can see how much nicer it's going to look though, aren't they lovely? It's all of a twinkle. And you can see there, look, as well, how the sections join together. So it's a steel, it's a steel ball and the bits, the bits join and clip together. Let's see if it's still disconnected around the other side. It's not a bad spot to work on a day like this, is it? Look at that for a view. Gorgeous. Oh, here we go. Look, there's a gap. There's a gap that we can see through construction site. Keep out. Got you. <laughs> Breathe in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now then. Do you, do you know a guy called Mark Forrest who absolutely loves Blackpool? He's Blackpool's biggest fan. And I'd seen a photograph. If you look just through there in that gap, you can see Mark Forest, and I can't quite see the date. It says something for 21. And I'd, I'd seen that Mark had actually signed the inside of the mirror ball. Wowzer. <laughs> Natty that, you have. You, you, were, you were caught on camera, Mark. That looks brill. It's going to look really lovely, that, when it's finished. And what an absolutely fabulous day to be working on Blackpool Prom. Blue skies. Blue skies, not hardly a breeze. It's lovely. All the beach to yourself, as much beach as you could possibly ever want. So we'll come back next week and we'll do our best to try and catch them actually putting it up with a little bit of a little bit of good timing. That's assuming, of course, that the weather doesn't turn awful. And meanwhile, we'll leave you on this astonishing view of a beautiful Blackpool beach and promenade and the big one and the tower and, and South 